Hey, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the leaf removal tool. So this I added into the customized asset section, which used to be the material section, but I have multiple things that I want to include on this add-on in the future that will involve just customizing the assets in general. So I figured making a section for that will be more organized and helpful and just kind of easy to work with. That is kind of subject to change. Um, I'm still kind of figuring everything out with the add-on since it's brand new. And, you know, based on what feels best when I'm working and based on your guys' feedback, I will make changes just to kind of, you know, make this as comfortable to use as possible. But for now, I think this works pretty nicely. So the way we can use this is we can select our assets, which we do need to make sure our assets are converted to local before we use any of the tools in here. So at the moment, this is converted to local, but if it's not, What's going to happen when I click apply a leaf removal is you're going to get this pop up that just basically allows you to convert it to local directly in here and then add the leaf removal to the asset. OK, so how this works is we have a few different ways we can use this. The default one is just random removal by percentage. So you can see right here, just randomly remove some of the leaves based on this value right here until we get to zero. And this is really nice because, well, when I'm making winter scenes, especially I usually have to kind of do this process manually. I'll go into edit mode and just like kind of randomly select leaves and you just kind of start deleting them until it looks nice, just so it looks a little bit more uh, like winter like. So kind of having this process automated is going to be super helpful, but we also have other options as well. So let me bring this to zero and then turn on use height. It's going to bring back all of the leaves and that's because we haven't specified any of the high properties, but we can actually remove from bottom or from the top or a mix of both. So I'm going to do remove from bottom and then just bring the bottom height up to about 0.5 or so, or maybe about 0.4. And you're going to see anything under this value is going to have zero leaves. And then anything above that is going to have 100% of the leaves. And the falloff is pretty sharp. It's not something I would probably use as default. And that's why I have the falloff slider, which just kind of creates this gradient just to kind of smoothen out that transition. So we can actually have it go from 100% leaves and then just slowly fade into zero or whatever value you end up putting for this bottom value. So you can actually even have it at like 25% down here, or I guess 30 ish percent or zero if you want, which I find this to look pretty cool because we can have a very kind of leafy top and then a very branchy bottom. If you want to just do remove from top, it works the exact same as well. You can see like that, adjust the fall off and so on, or a mix of both. But I generally just use the remove from bottom. I think this looks really cool. So we got that. And then let me show you the weight paint removal. So as I mentioned, we can use a mix of both if you want to, or you can just use one at a time. So how this works is we can actually paint away manually different sections of leaves by hand. So say you like this, but you want some other sections like up here, maybe over here or something that also have no leaves, but you don't want to affect anything else. We can just go into here. This is going to go into weight paint mode. And let's just like say paint away some of these, maybe some of these. And then like, how about that as well over here? And then maybe like one more section towards the top like that. I can click this weight icon again to exit weight paint mode. And you're going to see now there's no leaves on those sections I painted. If you want to only like affect it a little bit by weight paint mode, we can actually use this amount to kind of fade that in or out as well. So you can see 100% missing where I painted or just slightly less dense where I painted. If you don't like what you did too, you can also click this reset button and that's just going to reset the weight paint group. So if you're painting and you, then you mess up or something and you just want to restart, click this and then you can restart and do whatever you want. So I feel like this works pretty well. I did just make this tool in the past few days, so it is subject to change and definitely give me some feedback if you have more ideas, um, different ways we could remove leaves, um, any feedback on like what would make it easier or like more fun to use. Um, if you want some like more procedural type effects for removing leaves or anything else like that, just let me know. Um, I'm always open to feedback, but at the moment I feel like this works pretty great. If you want to apply this as well, so at the moment it's a modifier, so we can just like remove it if we want like that and reset it. But if you want to apply this, so it's just like permanent for your object. So when you go into edit mode, you're going to actually have everything just actually missing and not just temporarily missing. We can click apply removal and now it actually just applies that modifier. If I go into edit mode, they're actually missing. And a cool thing about that too, is you can just go back in here, remove leaves again, if you want to, and then, you know, apply it and then you're set. So when I'm doing winter scenes too, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, if I'm doing a winter scene, Generally, I would go into like edit materials, turn on the winter season, and then also the winter season for the bark. And now you can see 
we're missing a lot of the leaves. We have some like kind of dying dried out leaves with snow on the tops. I would generally go a little bit less. So let me actually remove some more of these. So something like something like that maybe. So yeah, if I'm doing a winter scene, I would turn on the snow for both the leaves and the bark and then just have a few leaves here and there. And I feel like that looks pretty good for some winter assets. And yeah, you can use this for any asset in here. Just remember, make sure everything is local. And another thing before I go, if you say you convert this and you know you apply the modifier and then you realize you don't like this at all, you obviously can't make the changes anymore because you already applied this. One trick is you can actually just select your asset, go convert object linked, and then you can go back to local if you want and it actually just resets it. So if you completely mess it up and you want to just basically restart, that's one trick to do that. You can just convert linked and it automatically resets. And then you can of course come back in, do whatever you need, and you can start from scratch. So yeah, hopefully that helps. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And of course, just like I mentioned before, if you have any feedback ideas, definitely let me know as well. And yeah, I'll talk to you in the next video.